Um, but yeah, if this video gets 250 likes, I'll do the same exact thing, but on Grinder, the gay dating app. <laughs> You got the light gold. He hasn't gone on Grinder yet! Grinder time! I saw the title and I literally buffed. You must do on Grinder. The best way to hide a body is to call from them and tie them up and feed them. So what about the Grinder? So where's yeah. Grinder? You got the lights! That was a lot more than the Grinder. 250 likes, bros. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Okay, I'll do it. Jeez. So I went on Grinder as Chad. What is up, degenerates? Welcome back to my balls. So over a year ago, I went on Tinder as Chad. And I said, if this video gets more than 250 likes, I'll go on Grinder as Chad. And I shit you not, in less than 24 hours, that video got over 600 likes. 600! So, you smashed it, like Scout Leader John smashed me. But for real, I wasn't expecting that video to get that many likes, so thank you, I, I guess. I don't know if I should be thanking you, dickheads. The only time you listen to me asking for likes is when you want me to fuck other dudes. So I guess maybe that's just how I should ask for likes from now on. If this video gets 500 likes, I will personally meet up with countless old men in an Airbnb to film OnlyFans content in a skin-tight latex bodysuit. That's just a joke, by the way. I wouldn't do it for the likes, I'd do it for free. Hey, yo! <laughs> What the fuck has my life come to? I look so gay right now talking about fucking old men. <laughs> and look, there's nothing wrong with being gay, guys, okay? But I, I'm straight. I'm straight, I promise. Uh, okay? Alright, now let's go on Grinder and flirt with men. <laughs> okay, now before I download Grinder, again, I just want to say a quick shout out to my girlfriend for helping me shoot photos to seduce old men. <laughs> so you guys, my girlfriend helped. I'm straight, I promise. Okay, but before I show you anything, I just want to take a quick second to commemorate all the unsolicited dick pics I've received. And now, an unsolicited dick pic montage. Yeah, I kind of forgot how aggressive these dudes are. Is, is this what women feel like on Tinder? Because that shit is absolutely unequivocally AWESOME! <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling sad now, I'll just download Grindr again and look at all the depressing dicks. Because they're sad, not because I'm jerking off. Okay, so here's my profile. Uh, I got some photos showing off my decadent ass. I got some uh, photos of my TikTok, because that works for some reason. Clout, I guess. <laughs> my girlfriend actually helped me take the photos in front of this wildlife shit. I was at the conservatory. So, we're in the conservatory, which is kind of weird because I'm seeing a lot of birds, but I don't see a lot of conservatives. Now, my display name is Chad, and my about me is just a rock hard stud looking for rock hard butts. Okay, I forgot how gay that sounded. <laughs> By the way, where are all the women on here? I've been looking, but this app is the opposite of the rock because it's not cooking. <laughs> Absolute fucking poetry right there. And uh, my tags are bubble butt, <laughs> chub, pup play, tentacles, Watching <laughs> unicorn beach and socks. I'm not gonna lie. I did this a while ago, so I kind of forgot <laughs> forgot. All right, so moving on my age is 20 my body type is stocky and my position is side because fucking men is my side hustle <laughs> I hate my life. All right, my ethnicity is black so I can say the n-word Nickelodeon <laughs> uh, my tribes are twink otter and bear those aren't gay things I can explain twink is because I love twinkies Otter is because I thought it was spelled other because straight wasn't an option. And bear, because I like old hairy men. <laughs> I'm looking for right now, at your place. Accept NSFW pics? Yes, please. Oh, maybe that's why I kept getting unsolicited dick pics. I swear I didn't know that was a thing, I swear. All right, and lastly, my HIV status? Do not show. Okay, now let's get into the spicy DMs. Hi. Sup, brisky. Watching Netflix right now. What are you up to? Just jerking off. Nothing beats my grandmother's grave. <laughs> Nothing beats there except Chad, I guess. Okay. Glad you are having fun. Glad you're having fun? I just said I jerked off at my grandmother's grave. And <laughs> okay. Glad you're having fun. <laughs> what the fuck? And then I said, thanks. Quality family time is the best. So what are you looking for on Grinder tonight? So you are jerking off at your grandmother's grave? I'm looking to hook up, but there's no girls on here. Weird. <laughs> And then in response to, so you're jerking off at your grandmother's grave? I just said, I will neither confirm nor deny. You were looking for girls on a gay dating app? Why though? So what excited you about me? What? Gay? I'm not gay, I'm homosexual. Socks on. <laughs> and I don't know, cock? I, I mean personality? <laughs> <laughs> homosexual sounds coom. Cool. Sure, you want my cock? So, how can I help you tonight? How big is your cock? I'm like an amusement park, there's a height requirement. So, um, he didn't reply to me after that. <laughs> so this next guy just says, 
who are you? And then I say, I'm Chad, swinger of dicks, boning of checks. Then he just goes, okay. <laughs> Are you looking right now? Yeah, where are all the girls on this app? Kind of a sausage fest, not gonna lie. Then he goes, ha ha ha, I'm a top though. It was at this moment that he knew. Then, then he sees me asking about girls and says, so are you looking for a bottom? <laughs> <laughs> and I just replied, aren't we all? So who is Daniel? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I only exist for mild entertainment on the internet. And at the end of the day, I'm just a depressed, lonely white boy who struggles with his identity. Nah, I'm just kidding. I might. <laughs> 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 Yo, okay, so this guy's name was Virgin, so I just went, <laughs> Yo, that's actually, that's so fun. I don't know why that's so funny to me, but... <laughs> yeah, he didn't reply. <laughs> Alright, so then this next guy just says, Hey, what's up? Just my cock, what about you? <laughs> same. Laugh out loud, sick! I got a couple inches, on a good day, kinda limp. What can I say? Gotta be honest. Then this guy goes, just a couple? Maybe I can help get it less limp. Well, I don't know, bro. I got these really fucked up nerve endings. My family doctor says I'll most likely be flaccid for life. Hashtag blasted flaccid. Ah, hence the side. Side? That's the position in your profile, lol. It means you don't top or bottom. Oh, uh, Lamau, I'm actually a power bottom most of the time, but I put side because I usually stand on the sidelines of the bedroom during sex and watch. I'm the live studio audience for sex. If I were to call it a sitcom, I'd call the sitcom the Big Bang Theory because it's always so awkward without the laugh tracks. Excuse me. I don't know where my brain goes half the time. And then and then he liked my joke about the sitcom, so he goes, lol, at sitcom. <laughs> and then he, he's kind of into it. He was, he was kind of like, yeah, I love a good power bottom. You want to use just my cock then? And I, I didn't really know what to say, so I just said, use it for what? Like a joystick? Then he goes, haha, basically. Or like a dildo. What the fuck is a dildo? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, I... I didn't know what to say at that point, so I- <laughs> So, uh, yeah, he kind of stopped responding to me after I said, what the fuck is a dildo? <laughs> okay, so this next guy, perfect, perfect DM. Perfect way to start a conversation. He just goes, yeah, you hard man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you hard man? <laughs> I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna text everyone like that from now on. <laughs> Even in family group chats. <laughs> yeah, you hard man? <laughs> and uh, I just replied, no, but I go hard. So this next guy says, best bio on here. Thanks, bro. You looking for fun? Yes, yeah, so much fun, broski. What you want? I'm trying to figure out right now if this is a joke or if you're on actually looking to hook up. I don't know what, what the fuck. Dude, if you want to dick me down, at least get your grammar fucking right. Holy shit. Look at that fucking thing. Like, what? Are you calling me a joke, Brian? Because then, then he goes, yo, my guy, you got me confused as fuck right now. Who the fuck is Brian? Because... <laughs> This dude's name's not Brian. And I was just like, you're Brian. And uh, yeah, that that was that. <laughs> so a little bit of context for this one. This guy said his name to Bear. Uh, so then he just says, how's it going? And then sends a, a picture of himself. He's got like a beard. He's pretty hairy. And I was like, sup, Bear? Not much. Do you ever get bear sprayed asking for a friend? <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then he just goes, lol, no, I haven't had the experience. You? <laughs> You? What do you mean you? <laughs> oh, lol. Yeah, I bear sprayed myself once to stop myself from jerking off. I'm a chronic masturbator. And then he goes, lol, I suffer from the same thing. Love a good Joe. Who's Joe? Joe mama? <laughs> so this next guy, he just randomly sent me a bunch of selfies of himself. Nice bone structure. Wood seal up in bag and freezer. <laughs> and then he says, that's a little fucked up to say, man. Red flag. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> So this guy obviously saw my bio where I said that I was black. So you're black, eh? Only in the parts that count. Like the curly hair, right? Or am I missing something? No, the hair burnt off, hence the black fucking cock. Genitals burnt to a crisp. It's like Auschwitz in my pants. Oh my god. And then this guy goes, I'll believe that when I see it. Bruh. Black horse cock on a white boy is something you don't see too often. Hard to believe without proof, you know? You know, you gotta be humble. So I, I said, I wouldn't say horse cock. I would say shrimp that was burnt to a fucking crisp cock. And no, my proof is, trust me, bro, credible source. Yo, this guy's nice. This guy's nice. Because then, then, then he responds with, hey, no shame in a small member. <laughs> Except a schlort doesn't have the same ring to it as schlong. Valid. And yeah, so that was, that was pretty much the end of that conversation. So this guy I DM'd, and I just went, father, is that you? No, I'm looking for daddy. Oh, that's fair. My dad left me too. <laughs> <laughs> and th this guy responded to me like, sad, but he also put a little fire thing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, dude, your dad left you. Fire, bro. So I guess this next one, like, I guess he recognized my TikTok because he goes, hey, 
are you actually Daniel? And I just responded to this quickly with, no, I'm one of the several kids in his basement. Send help. Okay, so this next one, this guy just straight up sent me his dick. Like full shaft, every, cock and balls just out. And you know what? I thought it takes a lot of, of courage to, to be that comfortable with your dick to where you'll just fucking mass send that shit to people. So, you know, I was like, you know what? Respect. Respect, bro. So I just go, nice cock, bro. Decent girth, nicely shaven, no 70s hairdo, respect. Sizable, but not overtly, overwhelmingly massive. And yet not a micro dick either. Keep it up, bro. Let her lay. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not gay, but you gotta be motivational sometimes. So then this, this guy just says, hey, my crotch tickles and burns. Yeah, he didn't reply to that. <laughs> all right, so this is the last text conversation of the day. I guess this dude saw my bio saying like, where's all the women at? <laughs> so then he goes, what, you don't like all the fake women on here? Okay, okay, bud, just chill out. <laughs> I'm looking for puss, bro. Where's it at? And he goes, I don't know, just fake pussy here. If you're drunk enough, you might not notice. True, especially if I'm drinking with Bill Cosby. That guy knows how to prepare a drink. Jesus Christ. And this guy just says, true dad. Roofies are his specialty. Could you wake me up when you're done? Ah, oh, <laughs> whoa there. And I'm just thinking, whoa, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna steer this conversation in a different way. <laughs> wake you up? How? By sending multiple unsolicited titty pics to your phone to get it to go off so that you'll wake up? As long as they're granny titties, sure. I'm not fucking old. And then he goes, oh, we're talking about your titties. Well, whose else's would I be sending to you? The various granny stuffed in my shed who I snatched from the old folks' home? Oh my god, they're still alive after COVID. If they have dementia, it's not like they can remember anything. By the way, will you be making jokes the entire time that we're fucking or do you take that seriously? Yo, I thought I was scared of my jokes. <laughs> So then I just say, nah, bro, my bed is the circus because I'm a clown and there's always a crowd. Orgy time. Orgy time. Come on, grab your friends. <laughs> we'll go to very different men. So then I just kind of ended the conversation by correcting his spelling mistake. Orgy. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much that. So um, <laughs> a lot more aggressive <laughs> than the Tinder video, I, I, I think. From what I remember, at least, there were a couple fucked up ones in the Tinder video, but holy shit. What I liked about this one is in comparison to the Tinder video, there were a lot more people willing to joke with me. You know, on Tinder, I had to search and search and search to actually find people who could like at least respond or like, you know, uh, play along with the joke. Now, that being said, <laughs> there were a lot more guys on Grindr who were totally cool with just <laughs> you know, um, so that's that's what I didn't like about that <laughs> You know, I got people sending me their dick as a welcome like it's a fucking Thanksgiving fruit basket or some shit <laughs> Nah, but for real despite the numerous dick pics I got sent and you know motherfuckers calling me literal slurs I did have a lot more fun fucking around over text not in person. Okay, so that's it for today's video I literally put myself out there on a gay dating app for you motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to send the like button and unsolicited dick pic. <laughs> All right, well, thank you everyone. Take care and peace. Okay, now before I download Grinder. Again. <laughs>